Hello, I'm Gordon Lang, editor of CameraLabs.com. I'd like to give you a brief video tour around the Canon EFS 17-85mm lens. Here it is, the 17-85, and I've got it mounted here on a Canon EOS 400D, or as it's known in North America, the Rebel XTI. Now this lens is designed as an upgrade from the standard kit lens. It's not designed to complement it, it's supposed to replace it. Or in fact, you could get it at the time you buy the camera body itself. So what benefits does it offer beyond the normal kit lens? Well, most obviously it has a longer range. The standard kit lens offers a three times optical range. This one offers five times. So let's have a look at that in practice. Here's the standard 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens zoomed all the way out to 18 millimeter. Now here's the 17 to 85 zoomed out to 17 and you can see it captures a slightly wider field. Not a massive difference, but a difference nonetheless. Now let's zoom both lenses into their maximum focal lengths. Here's the standard kit lens zoomed into 55mm and now here's the 17-85 to zoomed into 85 and you can see it makes quite a big difference. You can get quite a bit closer to your subjects and that's handy whether you're taking pictures of people, landscapes or almost anything else. You get more than just an extended zoom range when you upgrade to a lens like the 17-85. to You also get built-in image stabilisation. This uses special optics built within the lens barrel to compensate for camera shake and it typically allows you to handhold exposures up to three times longer than normal. Now this can make a massive difference whether you're into photographing under dim conditions, say at dusk or dawn, or perhaps if you've got the aperture fully closed for a large depth of field and you're having to contend with a very slow shutter speed as a result. One of the other major benefits about having stabilisation built into the lens rather than the body is that you'll also see the effect through the viewfinder. And let me tell you, it's very reassuring to see those wobbles suddenly steady themselves when you half press the shutter release button. One of the other benefits about upgrading from the kit lens is you'll get better build quality. This lens just feels much better in use than the standard kit lens. And while it is bigger and heavier than the standard kit lens, the barrel doesn't extend a great deal when it's fully zoomed in. Here it is zoomed out at 17mm and here zoomed all the way into 85 It's not a massive difference. Also, crucially, this lens has got a USM focusing motor. This allows it to focus much more quietly and quicker than the kit lens. And you also see it's got a proper manual focusing ring, unlike the little thing on the end of the kit lens. And if you watch this end element, when I do focus the lens, you'll notice it didn't rotate. That's very important if you're into using polarizing filters. So all in all, there's a lot of compelling reasons to go for this lens rather than the kit model or upgrade it if you're already using the kit lens. But what are the downsides? Well, probably the biggest downside is that it doesn't come with a lens hood. Believe it or not, it's an optional accessory. Now this is just coming across as a bit mean of Canon, in our opinion, because almost every other lens manufacturer includes a lens hood with their lenses. So to not have it on anything other than their professional models, Canon, it's just plain tight. Sort it out. One of the other things you may notice with this lens is when it's fully zoomed out to 17 mm there's a little bit of darkening in the corners. This is an effect that you can see in some of our sample images, so pop over and check out our full review at www.cameralabs.com. There you'll find example images taken with this lens and comparisons against other models that you may want to consider.